brothers, you know, and yet the Lord says, no, you know, make sure that you're oh, yeah. making I, choices. That I, are, I look at the heart. Uh-huh, yeah. Know, and where's your heart at? Yeah, where, where's, and you know, where, where do you sense your spirit going out, you know? You know, because one thing looks just because it's a great opportunity. So. Welcome to Pray 16. For the next hour, you are invited to stand with other believers as we pray and release the power of God into the lives of his people. Remember, if you're not praying church, you're just playing church. Coming to the studio in five, four, three, two, one. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Good to have you with us today at Pray 16 where we join with you and pray with you if you want to call in, Facebook in, or email in, we would love to hear from you. If you have any specific needs, we'd like to join with you and pray for you because God makes a difference. Amen. God can make a difference in your life. You know, prayer, we should have that kind of simple confidence in the Lord that His, His Spirit and His provisions are there for us, that He can make a difference in our life. And that's what faith says. Faith will face the situations that we deal with in our life and say, you know, God has something for me or God has something better or what's God have to say about this? Uh, faith is really looking to the provision or the revelation of the Lord, which uh, comes from the word of God. It comes from a relationship with Jesus Christ. He is the revealed word of God. He is the word of God made flesh that came and dwelt among us. He is the fullness of God. So, and, you know, we have a lot available to us, but as believers, we have to learn to access uh, that which God has provided. I grew up as a, uh, just a kid that uh, I believed in Jesus. Uh, I went to church. I, was a, I wasn't a good Baptist kid, but I was a Baptist kid. <laughs> I, I didn't, I wasn't, you know, I just wasn't good Baptist kid, but I believed. And in crisis situations, I would pray before my ball games. I would pray, you know, I, you know, and I would pray fairly. Lord, may the best man win. I wasn't just praying for me to win. But at the same time, I wasn't a disciple. I wasn't, I didn't know the word of God. I wasn't committed to God. I, you know, but in my, there, there was a seed of faith on the inside of me. But if we're going to really develop a, a prayer life, we have to become a disciple. And that means disciplined. And if you're going to be disciplined, if you're going to be learn the life of prayer, you're going to be disciplined in the life of the spirit. There are so many things in this life that people learn to be disciplined in. You can take every sphere of life that people, if you're going to be a success in anything, you're going to be dis disciplined in something in life. Well, for a believer, that means becoming disciplined in the life of Christ, disciplined in the word of God, disciplined in the spirit, disciplined in walking with the Lord. And that is what a disciple is. So when we talk about prayer today, that's what uh, the life of, of a disciple is all about. Learning and acquiring a life of prayer that is effective and that uh, pleases the Lord, uh, that is growth oriented, that it's something that opens up and is a blessing not only to their life, but to other people's lives. So there's so much about prayer that we will probably be talking about, but we'll also be praying for a lot of your needs. So got a good friend to, with me today, Mike Wartman. We've been around a long time. Yeah, we? we have, you know, <laughs> don't, don't often get to be together like this. So Amen. good to have you Amen. today. I am so thankful yeah. to be here yeah. with you today. And I appreciate what you're saying about prayer. You know, nothing shows our attitude more towards God than our prayer life. Yeah. Are we dependent on him? Do we look to him for everything? It says looking to our author, to the author and the finisher of our faith, Jesus Christ. That's so good. And, and, and oftentimes prayer is the last thing when it ought to be the first thing. 
It, well, you know, I've said, I, I said the same thing when, when it comes to all the, the school shooting things that go on. You know, after, you know, after you got, I don't know how many, you know, God forgive us, dead kids or whatever, you know, then they say, well, then we'll pray for them. Yeah. Well, why didn't we, why couldn't we have prayer at the beginning? Amen. <laughs> you know, why we kick prayer out of school and you Amen. kick prayer out of the, all the government agencies and stuff. Amen. And then we're praying for everybody afterwards. Yeah. So they, yeah. You get God into the situation. It automatically clears up everything. Amen. And we have that record in history that the great revivals, whenever there was a great revival, that uh, That's good. crime decreased, shut, down the bars shut and... everything down. And, and, you know, when we talk about, and I, I used to have a program called Church and State, right? You remember that? Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> and, uh, you know, there is a separation of church and state, but it was to keep the church or keep the government out of the affairs of the church, not the church out of the affairs of the government. You got it? Yeah. And well you got to you got to have the morality of God and what this word teaches us to have a government like what we have. Yeah. And 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 so he is the way, the truth and the life and you can't do any better yeah. than that. Well, I think it I, I think it was John Adams. I'm not I don't remember exactly specific. Don't quote me on that. But that said, it was one of our founding fathers, I think it was John Adams, that said that this government is made for a religious people and is unfit for any other. Amen. Meaning, you know, for us, we, we typically think religion isn't a great thing because it's kind of an abuse of spiritual life, you know, but what he meant in religion had to do with a moral stability Amen. and a morally minded people. Amen. And he said, our government is basically, you know, it's kind of built on an honor system, you know, right. meaning, you know, you know, when we drive throughout the day and we pull up the stoplights and stop signs, you know, we're really depending on the honor system. Somebody's going to stop. Somebody's Amen. Gonna, people aren't going to go flying through all of this, you know, Amen. otherwise you're going to, you know. Amen. Yeah, I think it was Lincoln who wrote it in uh, his address a government of the people, by the people, and for the people. That's right. Yeah. Well, the people have to be a moral people. Yeah. And there's no greater morality than yeah. what we have Amen. right here, the Word of God. Amen. And, you know, one of the greatest things in that, Mike, is that all of, you know, we're, we're referring to some of our founding fathers. We're referring to some of our uh, uh, presidents. Abraham Lincoln was my, one of my favorites. But, you know, this moral life that we're talking about is acquirable in Amen. Jesus. It's something Amen. that every single, Amen. you know, you can call upon Jesus right now. Amen. And begin a, a new life in God. Amen. I mean, he gives mercy and forgiveness and, and, and he, he washes us, he cleanses us. I mean, so the things we're talking about, obviously, you have to learn how to walk in this yes. like anything else. Yes. What we opened up talking about. But at the same time, you can start. Yes. You know, I mean, you know, that's what it's all about. I mean, starting to come into a relationship where you say, Jesus, I need you. Amen. In my life. And I, Lord, forgive me. I've blown it. I've, Amen. You know, and I've, Amen. I've lived for myself. Amen. So he's, he's really opened up his, God has, in Christ, opened up his heart Amen. to all of us and invited us to come home to him. Amen. Well, you know, we all know the scripture, 316 John, where it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him would not perish, but have everlasting life. But it's the, the one after that that we need to focus on too. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Amen. And it, it's the will of God that you be born again, that you be saved, that, you know, if God before you, who can be against you? Amen. He opened up all the doors so that you could be born again spiritually, so that you could know him, so that you could learn from him and, and have fellowship with him. Amen. And that's what they said in 1 John. Yeah. And this is the record, you know, what we, who we have seen, what we've touched. And we want you to know that yeah. so that you can have fellowship with us. Amen. And our fellowship is with God Amen. the Father. And, and that's not just a good idea. Uh, Jesus said you must be born again. Amen. That's right. <laughs> John 3, 3. He says you must. He yeah. you know, told Nicodemus you must be born Amen. again. Amen. So, you know, it's not just a good idea. He commands all men, Amen. women and children everywhere to repent. Amen. Meaning that 
not to not that he's here to condemn us he's here to to bring salvation into our life amen so you know as we're talking about some of this I, i'm gonna i'm gonna have you go ahead those who are watching because i think we went this direction for a reason here yes. this morning amen and amen. i'm gonna have you pray for those who are watching amen. to you know just kind of lead them through amen. a sinner's prayer amen. Just, amen. you know just uh, those amen. just need to accept jesus okay yes. is that good mike yes that okay. is very good right now you know it says in scripture that god is no respecter of persons and i can tell you from experience about the love of god because he has loved me. I've been in his family for over 30 years now. And God, he, he's no respecter of persons. It says in Ecclesiastes, it also says that his mercies are new every day. Uh, great is thy, his faithfulness. Amen. And I want you to know that God you, loves you. Not based upon your performance, but based upon the fact that he is a loving father. He is a creator. And he sent his son that you could be a child of his. That God is Amen. a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. And what God wants you to do is to take that first step where you acknowledge your sins, acknowledge that yeah. you need a savior, Amen. acknowledge that things aren't working out, and acknowledge that he is God, and, that, you, and that he sent his son to die for you, and that, and that he did all those things so that you could become born again, born of the spirit, that which is born of the flesh is flesh, that which is born of the spirit Amen. is spirit. And he wants to bring you into his family. And I don't, it doesn't matter who you are, where you are, what you've done. You can become a child of God right now. Amen. And all you got to do, and I'm going to pray. I always shut my eyes. So if you're sitting there watching me, my eyes are shut. It's because I'm closing everything out. So I want you to do the same thing right now. I'm closing everything out. I'm going to focus on Jesus right now. Focus on him. And just repeat with me. Father, I thank you, Lord God, that you sent your son to die for me. I know that I am a sinner and that I need to turn from my ways and turn to you. And I believe with all my heart that you sent Jesus to die for me on the cross. I ask you, Lord, to forgive me of my sins. I ask you to wash me and to cleanse me in the precious blood of your son, Jesus. I yes, ask Lord. you, Lord God, that you bring new life into my yes, heart Lord. right now. Lord God, save me yes, Jesus. from my sins. Save me, come into my heart right now. Set up your residence in me right now. Yes, I thank you, Lord. I praise you right now, Lord God, for saving me from my sins. And I thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 You know, it's as simple as that. But we also now, what happens is the seed of Christ gets planted in your heart. You have the seed of Christ planted in your heart. And that seed needs to be watered. It needs to be fed by the Word of God. And as you uh, connect with a church, you know, you need Amen. to find a believing church. You need to find uh, other believers and you need to connect with them. Yeah. And you need to get into the word of God and pray. And that prayer part is very important. And all you got to do is pray your heart. You don't have to be a theologian. God knows where you're at. God loves you. And we love you too. And if you prayed that prayer, call us here. Call the station to, mm -hmm. I think it's 217-228-1616. And let us know you prayed that prayer. And so that we can pray for you too. Okay? Amen. So amen. 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 You know, that sh just shows you how available amen. the Lord is. Amen. I mean, God's not far from any of us. He's no. right there. And those of us who are believers, I mean, he, he lives within us, you know, uh, there are, and, and this basically, 
uh, brings you into covenant and agreement with the Lord. That he, he will fulfill, he, he already has fulfilled his covenant by, by sending his son Jesus and by raising him from the dead. Amen. But now, if you've said yes to that covenant, you, you are now a partaker of his covenant. Amen. And you are a partaker of, of what he has and wants to accomplish in our lives. So, so we encourage you, just like Mike said, you know, get into the Bible. Uh, find a believing uh, community of believers, find a worshiping community where they love to worship God and begin to in, uh, find the joy of being part of God's family, Amen. you know, because that's really, uh, it should be, it's not a rules of Amen. do's and don'ts. That's right. it's, a, it's a family. That's right. And, uh, that, you know, f true, uh, good, healthy family is fun to be part of. Amen. You know, and uh, a, f a good, healthy church family is enjoyable to be part of. Your fellowship is with the Father and with His Son, Jesus Christ, and with Amen. one another. So, so we just encourage you to partake of that. And as we're talking about prayer today, uh, that's really uh, the essence of part of your growth is going to be communicating, uh, opening up to, to the Lord and just being honest with Him about where you're at. Uh, Jesus said one of my favorite scriptures when I came to him, uh, he said uh, to where he says to ask, seek and knock. Amen. And, you know, he said that that basically was just the, the fundamental, the fundamental of spiritual life. If you ask, you receive. If you seek, you find. If you knock, it will be open to you. Amen. It's absolutely if you will do that and anybody can do that. If you'll ask, seek or knock, God's going to begin to get you answers. He's going to begin to get you revelation you're going to begin to become even more of a receiver of the things of the Lord. If you become a seeker and you ask, seek and knock, God's going to open Amen. doors for you. He's going to make a way. He's going to get you to the right people. <laughs> He's going to begin to fulfill his great covenant Amen. on your, on your behalf. Amen. So uh, we, ha we have a radio spot on our radio station, KJIR, and it's a preacher and he, he just throws this little insert in there he says prayer causes things to happen that wouldn't have happened if you hadn't prayed <laughs> you know so you got to do good. it there is a there is a, a physical thing to it you got to tell yourself i'm going to pray i believe and uh just get right in there and pray and that's just good continue to pray and uh, uh i i have a secret place at home <laughs> i got a uh -huh. place where i go and uh just get alone with the Lord and let him do the work. Because uh -huh. they said, we talked about, if you're born again, you just get born again. You know, if you want the outside of the cup to be clean, you got to clean the inside first. Hmm. And so everything we're talking about here, and everything that Pastor Gary has mentioned, I've mentioned, you can find in the pages of this book that we read. No. And, and, you know, the more yeah. of that word you get into, the more that the Holy Spirit can bring it to your remembrance, it's just like having a computer. Yeah. If you don't have it in the computer, you can't bring it up. Yeah, yeah. And, so, and I found, I know for me, and I still find this to be one of my <coughs> favorite things to do in prayer, and I, where I learned a lot in, in God, was praying the Bible. Amen, you absolutely. Know, reading, reading the Bible and then praying what you read. Amen. So if I go over to Ephesians or Colossians or Philippians or whatever, any of those New Testament letters, and I just read a portion of it, I mean, it's like, wow. And I'll just, you know, I'll just kind of pray that over myself, pray that over my family, pray that over, over others that I know. And then I'll just kind of read on more and I'll pray that over them. And, and, I, and I get the word of God into me as I'm praying. So I'm Amen. praying and I'm getting the word into me and I'm praying the word over others. Yeah. And it's one of the best ways to... You're actually praying the will of God yeah. when you're doing that. I got a scripture I'd like to share with you. In 1 John chapter 5, verses 14 and 15, it says, and this is the confidence. So you can have confidence in this, and this is the confidence that we have in Him, in God, that if we ask anything according to His will, He hears us. And we know that if He hears us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desired of Him. So if you're praying the will of God, there's, there's no, uh, you don't have to worry about it. It's, it's, it's a done deal. God That's watches good. over His Word. And he watches over those that pray his word, and he's going to bring it to pass. That's good. Well, and, 
and uh, Hebrews talks about, you know, faith, uh, Hebrews 11, faith is the assurance, you know, faith. Amen. Is, and it's the, the, the assurance and the confidence, the assurance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So that's that confidence. It's an inward assurance. Amen. An inward confidence. But that's something you, you know, you have to grow in. You yes. know, your awareness Amen. of that. Your sensitive, sensitivity to that, because, you know, there's a lot of, many times you'll feel very insecure, feel very weak, you know. Bible says in our weakness, his strength is made perfect. So, I mean, there's a lot of things that are being worked out in our lives. But if you, through that relationship with the Lord and through that relationship with the Word of God, you will have the victory. He will bring you through the turmoils or, or even if you're wrestling with fear or anxiety or the battles of sicknesses or insecurities, you know, the, 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 the victory of the resurrection and the victory of the power of God will take you through those storms. And that's what we're talking Amen. about, you know, with, with prayer. It's not just, it's just not getting things from God, but it's living in God. It's Amen. literally living our life Amen. in Christ Jesus. So he, he breaks <clears throat> us through you know, those old ways of living, those old insecurities, those old depressions, dis, uh, those discouragements. Many people grow up with generational type curses on their life. Those things are broken by the word of God Amen. as you learn to walk by faith. Amen. So, you know, we're talking about a lot of stuff here, but if you will pursue the Lord, I mean, there's a lot of truth that can be really discovered in a lot of these things. So it's Amen. life changing. Amen. That's what Jesus is in the business of changing lives. And uh, he comes to live in you and to live his life through you. So, amen. That's amen. What... Amen. Well, we're going to take a break right now. Um, we got Jeff and April Davis are going to be doing uh, I Surrender All so we can have a little time of worship. And we always encourage you and us to have a time of uh, worship in our in our prayer times where we it really kind of pulls us up, you know, to the things of God and pull us into the things of God. And they're really anointed. But uh, we're going to take a break. And then Mike and I will be back here to uh, pray for some of your specific needs. Again, Amen. if you want to call in, email in or Facebook in, we'd love to hear from you. If you're on Facebook, if you would share, share the program, that'll reach another chunk of people. That would be a blessing. Uh, you know, we're kind of all over the world right now, so it's wonderful. There's people all over the world being able to hear and see what's going on. And, um, you know, we can speak life into their lives and help them rise up and fulfill the call of God in their life. We'll be back in a moment, okay? God bless. We want to sing one more song this afternoon and just want to let you know, just to be encouraged. Don't look at what you see. We've got a great, great God. And he is working overtime right now to take care of you, his child. He doesn't lie. He doesn't take back promises. So when he makes a promise to you, honey, you can put, take it to the bank because it's better than gold. But it takes something from us as well. He loves us. He wants to bless us. But we have to open our arms up and give him permission to do that. We have to surrender everything in our life to him and say, God, I see all these things swirling around me. But I believe he would tell you that even though you feel like you're in the middle of the tornado, the safest place in the storm is the eye right in the middle because you can see everything passing around around you, but it can't touch you because you're in the safe place. He said to trust him, child. You're under his wing. You're in his protection. And he's never going to leave you. He's never going to forsake you. But he'll stay with you until the end. So why not today just give in to him? Why not surrender everything to him? Those small little minor things that you've been holding back, just tell him, Lord God, they're yours. I can't handle them anyway. And see what he'll do. He'll put them in the recipe of your life, and he will make them what they should have been in the first place. He will make them better than you. Listen as April sings this song that just simply says, I surrender all. friend 
Awesome. Amen. Amen. Awesome. Doesn't get any more real than that. Amen. <laughs> I mean, Amen. That, is, that is the life in God. That is the Christian life. Surrendering all to the Lord, you know. I mean, that's, that's, that's how we come to the Lord, uh, beginning and the end and always, <laughs> is that, Lord, we, we surrender all. You know, Lord, you have your way. Even in Jesus at the end of his ministry, Lord, not my will, but your will Amen. be done. Amen. You know, uh, Lord, if at all possible, let this cup pass from me. And, you know, there are times we hit those times in our life. And, Lord, Amen. is there any way, God, Lord, if, you, if there's any way, God, to let this pass from me. But, Lord, I want to do... I want to do it your way, God. I want to, I want to fulfill your call. I want to, I want to obey you. And, and that surrender to the Lord allows him to be the one in charge and the one who leads and guides, the one who is savior of all. So uh, that's, a, that's a, 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 an eternal, well-driven truth that should be in all of our lives. So amen. 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 You know, so oftentimes when you think of surrender, you think defeat. Huh, but good. when you surrender to Jesus, you win. Huh. You know, we, we trade our miserable life for his glorious life. Hmm. And, um, that's good. And, but, you know, that just comes from experience in my life and in my heart. And I hear you talking right now, and I hear you telling the people these things. And it all comes out of an experience. Mm -hmm. That which we have seen, that which we have heard, declare we unto you. Mm -hmm. that, That's good. That you may have that same fellowship. And mm -hmm. you're going through something tough today. You know, we just want you to know we've been there. We've experienced those things. And, and God has always brought us through. It may not have been what I wanted, mm -hmm. but in the end, I came out a winner and I came out uh, I, with more than what I had yeah, before. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. In Christ Jesus, you know. Well, well, in, or, in order for there to be a resurrection, there has to be a death. Amen. Amen. <laughs> and, you know, uh, Paul said, I die daily. <laughs> and so, you know, we're talking about surrendering daily. You know, Amen. well, and it doesn't mean that you literally, you know, physically are dying daily, but you die to self. Amen. You know, our, you know, uh, you know, to, uh, he says, uh, Jesus said, if you're going to be a disciple of his, you know, number one, we have to deny ourselves, pick up his cross and follow him. And so denying self, that is such a foreign language to this world. Yes. You know, and unfortunately, it's a foreign language to much of the church today, too, because they're trying to fulfill both their will and his and, yes. and call it all God. Yeah. But uh, in reality, you know, if there's going to be resurrection anointing, resurrection power in our life, it's going to be because we died to ourselves and we allowed him to live with us. Amen. You know? Amen. So exactly what it, you're saying. It's such a wonderful life Yeah. in Christ Jesus, because I just don't know how, what else I can say about that is yeah. that, you know, born again, been in there 30 years. You know, I was a I don't want to carry on. I know we got prayer here to do, but if you're struggling with alcohol or drugs, you know, um, I was into that years ago. That was my whole purpose in life was to get high or to get drunk. And God delivered me out of all of that. Not I mean, awesome. I, I don't put down any those programs out there that help people get off that stuff. But it, in the end, it was me surrendering my life to Jesus yeah. that gave me the desires to live a, a better life or That's to live good. in his uh, will. Amen. That's good. And you need that. And in the midst of all that, you know, you need that hope. Amen. You know, you need that hope from the Lord. Because, He's the you know, God of all hope. Yeah. And so if you're, if you're battling through those kinds of storms, you're going to need that Amen. hope. You know? Amen. Amen. Well, I uh, got one here for Sheila. Um, give her total victory in her life. So amen to that. Well, we've been talking about that all morning about, you know, the victory in Christ and uh, victory is in Christ. So, Father, we bless um, Sheila, Lord, in Jesus name. And Lord, just speak life over her life. And Lord, that you amen. are, Lord, her victory. 
Lord, we just decree that, Lord, uh, over her life and that, Lord, that she would continue, even as we've been talking here, to surrender to you Amen. and to daily, Lord, enjoy that victory that is in Christ, Lord, that uh, even if she hits spots that are that are difficult, there may be tough spots to surrender, but, you know, uh, in our weakness, your strength is made perfect, Lord, that you will give her life, that you will give her hope and drive and encouragement, Lord, that you will give her truth to live by that comes from your word, God. So I just claim that and speak that, Father, over Sheila's life. Lord, I claim the victory in her life. And I know it's not, see, we would like to feel like, you know, once we get that one, Lord, that final breakthrough, we're never going to have any more struggles. Well, it's really not like that, mm -mm. you know. But once you get that breakthrough, you'll be able to take that breakthrough to the next battle. So you'll, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll be able to know he, he, he took out the lion and the bear, you know, from the, those formal, former uh, battles. And that when you face the next ones, you're going to have more confidence like Mike was talking about. Amen. So we just bless Sheila and claim Amen. the victory in her life in Amen. Jesus name. Amen. Amen. We have a request here for Aaron, uh, that he would receive favor in court and those in darkness, uh, would be confused. Well, we, I do know that God is uh, merciful. And, you know, mercy is treating somebody better than they deserve. And so I just ask right now for Aaron. Lord God, I don't know uh, the situation, but God, you know the situation. He's got to go to court for some reason. And we, I just ask, Lord God, for mercy. You're the God of mercy. And so I just ask mercy in his life. I ask God that you'd give him favor in his life, Lord God. And not only that, but that he would have the knowledge to know that it was, it was you, Lord God, that uh, you, Lord. brought him through this circumstance, Lord God. And those who... Uh, may be in darkness around him that are causing this problem, Lord God. I ask, Lord God, that uh, you would affect their life too and affect any plan of the devil to bring uh, yes. the bad or the darkness into his light, into his life. And uh, Lord, we know that if we walk in the light, as you are in the light, yes. then we have fellowship one with another. Yeah. I pray God through it all that Aaron would receive a uh, a, a closer walk with you if he doesn't know you, but God, that he would be, uh, have that favor in court. And we thank, thank you, you in Jesus name. Thank Amen. you, Lord. Thank you, Amen. Lord. Amen. 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 I have one here for Austin. Um, I don't know if Austin called in or if somebody else called in for Austin, send someone to him. He's having thoughts of suicide. Mm. Uh, so, um, and this is uh, 16. This would have been yesterday. So, um, Lord, I just uh, plead the blood of Jesus over Austin right now. I stand, Lord, and I just take authority, God, over this oh, yes. attack against Austin's mind and soul and spiritual life in the name of Jesus. Lord, I just plead the blood, and I just bind Amen. these spirits. Lord, the, the Satan is the accuser of the brethren. Yes. And I just bind these accusations. I bind these assaults Thank you, Jesus. in the name of Jesus. I take authority. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I command those lies to come down. I command that uh, suicide to be broken, those thoughts of suicide. Lord, to, to be broken against his mind, over his mind in the name of Jesus. And I, Lord, I break them. I cancel them, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And I pray, God, for, Lord, your presence and your anointing, Father, to Amen. help Austin. Amen. Lord, I pray for your presence, God, to intervene, Lord, to Amen. come between him and these spirits and these lies of the enemy, God. I pray, Amen. God, Lord, for you, Lord God, to be strong and, yes. Lord, for you to minister to Austin. Yes. I pray for the ministry of the Holy Spirit, the conviction, Amen. Lord, and the revelation of the Holy Spirit in Austin's life. I pray, God, Amen. Lord, for your, yes. Lord, for you to reveal yourself to him, Thank you, Lord, to reveal your love, to reveal your truth, Lord, Thank you, Lord, to reveal the call, Lord, to come up higher. In Jesus' name, Lord God, and Lord God, to, to, for him to begin to see and begin to see with his heart the way. This is the way, walk ye in it. Lord, that he would begin to see with the eyes of his heart, oh God, and the eyes of his spirit, God, the way to walk and where to go and, and how to live. Lord, that he begin to turn away from these things. And he begin to close the door to the things, that, Lord, that he had opened the door to. Lord, that he has authority to say no to the enemy. Amen. He has authority 
authority to say no, yeah. to, to bind and to reject the, the spirits of this age. He can close the door to the works of darkness in his life and to begin to walk towards God and to begin to walk in God, in Christ. Amen. Lord, I claim that over Austin's life. I claim salvation. Amen. Lord, I claim healing. Lord, of any wounds in his heart and in his mind, oh God. Jesus, that you are a healer. Lord, I claim your healing balm. Lord, I pray for ministers to keep, Lord God, that you would bring, Father, Lord, others to come and minister to him, God. Lord, to bring people, Lord God, that are equipped, oh God, with the word of God, Lord God, and the Holy Spirit to come and minister to him in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Claim victory. Father, I claim Amen. victory in Jesus' name, yes. in Austin's life, in his mind, in his emotions, yeah. and in his spirit. I bind these things. I command them to go. I claim victory in Austin's mind. Yes. I claim a good report yes. in his life. In the name of Jesus, yes. I claim breakthrough in Jesus' name. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So, Thank you, Lord. So be it. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father, we just lift up Steve to you, who was taken to the hospital in Peoria by helicopter, and he fell last night, he apparently hit his head. There's a mass of blood on his brain. And mm, so, Lord, yeah. we just, uh, we know there's no distance between you and, the, and Steve right now. And so we just plead the blood of Jesus over Steve and we ask God that you touch yeah. and heal that body, dissolve that mass, oh God, bring everything back into yeah. the way that it is supposed to be Jesus. within his body right now. We thank you, Lord, provide Jesus. everything, give the doctors wisdom. Jesus. Lord God, give him favor there at the hospital, Lord God. We ask God for that resurrection life Jesus. in his body right now. You said the same spirit that raised Jesus Christ from the dead was able to, is able to quicken our mortal Jesus. bodies. Yeah. And so we ask by the Holy Spirit that you would quicken this mortal body right now in the name of yes. Jesus. And we thank you for yes. it right now. Yes. In Jesus' name. Yes. In Jesus' Hallelujah. name. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Lord. Ah. Thank you, Jesus. I Thank you, Jesus. One of the scripture that has stood out to it's me today. Throw, and I, just, yes. it cut, it, I think it strengthens what, where we're going here with yes. prayer as we yes. pray. It's over in 2 Corinthians 6, 1. And it says, we then, as workers together with him. Amen. What we're doing right now is working together with the Holy Spirit. Amen. Or we're, we're endeavoring to. We're not perfect. We, do, you know, we make mistakes. But what we do is that we push off from the shore and flow with God. Amen. And we want to be workers together with him. Amen. And uh, also plead with you not to receive the grace of God in vain. Amen. And one of the things that we do, we're doing here, in, both in talking about prayer teaching about prayer and praying, we're calling you into a life of prayer. We're asking you to step out of your natural zone Amen. into the spirit zone. Lord, to, to, to leave your natural world and step into the spirit life and begin to flow with God. Become a worker together with him. Amen. You, begin, you can become a prayer warrior in your life. And a prayer warrior for your family and for your kids and for your brothers and sisters, for your spouse. For your, for your congregation, you can step out of your natural world, so to speak, and, I, and the circumstances into the spirit realm and begin to operate in the mind of Christ so Amen. that you will be a worker together with him. Amen. And that's what we're doing. Amen. That's right. Hallelujah. I lift up Nick here. Yes. Um, he says that he injured his shoulder at work. Um, they transferred him over to light work. And praying for, praying, he's praying that they would transfer him to a different apartment for the, so he can do the work that needs to be done. So, Father, we just pray for Nick. Amen. Lord, we bless him. We pray, Lord God, uh, Lord, that his request be answered, Lord. You said if we ask, we receive, and we claim yes. that over his life, Lord, yes. that to, Lord, you give him favor yes, in his Jesus. situation. Yes, Jesus. Lord, and that you would work out all things together Nation. for the good of those who love God yes. and are called according to your purpose. Amen. Lord, that you would make a way for him, Amen. God. Amen. Lord God, to be effective. Amen. Lord, to continue to work, Lord God, and that you would arrange and, Thank Lord, you, rearrange Jesus. things, Father. Lord God, that works out for him, Lord God, that he would yes. find favor Thank on his you, job, Jesus. favor with other Thank co-workers you, or, uh, or his boss or whatever it might be, God, that you would go before him and make a way in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. We Thank receive you. that. 
Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. For, expect a good report on amen. that. Amen. For Pastor Charles Turn, Turnbow, Lord, it says here that uh, he had double bypass heart surgery uh, on Thursday, September the 8th, and we're to pray for recovery and healing. Well, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord God, for the legacy and the, and the work that you've done through Pastor Charles Turnbow. And we ask, Lord, not for, right now for your grace and your healing power in his life. Yeah. Lord God, that you'd reach down from yes. heaven right now and just grab yes. a hold of that heart, Lord God. And just just what you do, Lord God, you are the great yes. I am. And you're more than able. It says that when, we're pr when we pray, believing, Lord God, that yes. we receive it. And so we receive it right now for Pastor Charles. And we ask God for your grace in his life and in his family, Lord God, and everything uh, about him, Lord God. We ask yes. it in the name of Jesus. We ask it. We plead the blood of Jesus over him and we pray and believe that we have it right yes. now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank, Thank you, Lord, Lord, for healing him. I always Thank do you, like to say that, you know, we understand we're only here for a moment. We're, yes. And we're saying a prayer for a moment. We're praying for individuals that are battling, you know, a lot bigger things than you know, then sometimes we, we might be battling and we're joining our faith. We're joining our prayers together with you. Uh, there might be immediate changes and there might, there might be some, uh, can, there's probably in most of these prayer requests, some needed prevailing on your part. Uh, because, uh, you know, we need, uh, you know, uh, the Lord said over in um, Luke 11, I would that men always pray and not lose heart. And that there needs to be a prevailing prayer. There, uh, there needs to be a continuance in, in well-doing. There needs to be a standing. Having done all the stand, stand therefore. That, uh, you, know, you know, there is an answer and there is a breakthrough. And there's breakthroughs along the way. And if you're standing for healing, if you're standing for uh, family situations, if you're standing for, there's all kinds of situations in our life that are not all of a sudden immediate turnarounds, but there is turnaround. There is, there is uh, uh, solutions available to the, in the Lord. And what we're doing, we're lending our faith and, and the revelation knowledge that we have in the Lord, in the mind of Christ with you. We are agreeing together with you and believing that you're going to get your victory. But there is also you standing, taking that agreement and continuing the fight, continuing to stand. So, you know, when we, I just want to say that because uh, uh, if you don't get your immediate results, doesn't mean that you're on, you aren't on the right track. If you're, it's, I've always said that every single one of these prayer requests is a call to discipleship. It's a call to turn around and live for God. It's a call to pick up the cross and follow him. It's a call to pick up your Bible, read your Bible, go after him with all of your heart. If you don't get your immediate healing or you don't get your immediate, immediate salvation of your spouse or your children or something like that, Amen. those are things that you need to be seeking God for day in and day out in the word of God and begin to believe God and pursue him. Amen. It's not something that may turn around in a moment. It Amen. could turn around a moment and praise the Lord if it does, but if it doesn't, it's a call to be a disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. David said, my heart is fixed, O Lord. Amen. My That's heart good. is fixed. I'm not going to turn to That's the good. left or the right. I'm going to stick it out. I'm going to stick it out with you, God. Amen. That's what that's what he did, and and when things were at their worst, he encouraged himself in the Lord too. Yeah. It says Scripture Amen. says, and that's where we go for our life. We are encouraged. We encourage ourselves in the Lord, and we continue Amen. on. Amen. Yeah. Well, it's like I liked what Kenneth Copeland said years ago. He said, he goes, you know, if I if I'm in the middle of a battle, he goes, and if I he goes, if I die and I end up going to be with the Lord, I still get my victory. Amen. But he said, but he said, but uh, he goes, when, it, when I go to be with the Lord, I want to go to the Lord believing. Amen. I don't want to, I don't want to go to the Lord unbelieving. Amen. You know, I don't want to have given up. Amen. He goes, even if I don't have everything that I'm praying for Amen. already fulfilled, he goes, when I go, when I leave, I want to be believing. Amen. You know, he said, you got to believe something. You may as well yes. believe God. Yes. Amen. Why, why stop believing God? Yes. <laughs> Well, there is that trust factor. Yeah. And it says, trust in the Lord with all yeah. thine heart and lean not yeah. unto thine own understanding. 
So we just, whatever the Lord, God, not my will, but your will be done. Well, you know, Paul, Paul says in Romans, he says, we, we having received the same spirit of faith, and there's a spirit of faith, and that's the Holy Spirit. Right. He's in us. Amen. And the Holy Spirit in us gives us more faith. Amen. So what happens when we start to get an unbelief is that we're plugged into the wrong things. Yes. When we start to get discouraged, we start to deal with depression, we start to get down on people, we start to get angry, oh, yeah. we get offended, all that stuff that's going on, all of that stuff is debris from this world. But there's a spirit, which is the Holy Spirit, that is available Amen. to each of us, and he's a spirit of faith. And if you'll spend some time praying and seeking the Lord, you're going to begin to tap into that faith. Now, can I tell you? And that, can faith, I read? and that faith is going to give you hope. It says here in Jude chapter 1 and verse 20, of course, there's only one chapter. It says, but ye beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. Come on. There you go. There you go. So there yeah. you, go. So you put, it in, put it in word form yeah. right there. It's, yeah. a, it's the word of God. And that's right. Building in your most holy faith. Praying in the Holy Spirit. Amen. And so, but the point was too, is that if you'll spend some time praying, you're going to begin to catch, uh, catch on to the spirit of faith, Amen. which we need. It's going to give you confidence or it's going to give you hope, you Amen. know, to continue to pray, continue Amen. to pray. So, Amen. Amen. I'll let Amen. you go ahead because I've been Amen. talking too much. <laughs> well, this one here is for Grady, who is the uh, general manager of the Charleston station for CTN. He was taken to the ER on Tuesday with heart issues mm -hmm. and they're wanting to do tests. Well, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you right now for Grady's faith, Lord God, and our faith. We join our faith together right now. And Lord God, I just believe for a healed heart right now. I believe, God, for this heart issue to be taken care of. I plead the blood of Jesus over him, Lord God, and we thank you, Lord God, that through it all, you will be glorified. That's what it's all about, that you are glorified, that people know that you're a healer, that people know that, that you are alive and you live forevermore, and that you live in us, and that you live in yes. the body of Christ. And so, Lord God, yes. we believe, God, we say to this mountain, be thou cast. Yes. into the sea right now. Whatever the heart issue is, oh yes. God, whatever the physical malady may yes, be, Lord. I ask you, Lord, by, the, by your power and yes, in the Lord. name of Jesus that you heal Grady oh, right yeah. now. Yes. And Lord God, I just Jesus, thank you for it. I'm always careful to thank you for the answer. And yes, Jesus' Lord. name, yes, amen, Lord. amen, yes, amen, amen. I pray, God, let them do the test. Let them find out there's nothing yes, wrong and let Grady be yes. the the one to say the Lord God has healed yes, me Lord. and I thank you in Jesus name thank you Father. I thank you in Jesus hallelujah. name thank you, hallelujah hallelujah thank you holy God amen um, everyone here for Lynette <clears throat> fighting for her life um, collapsed at home mm. and they found a brain tumor mm. and she's a mother of 10 young children oh my goodness so God. father we just uh, yes. Lord we lift up Lynette yes Yes. And we just speak Jesus. the name of Jesus. Jesus. Over in Lynette, Lord. Yes, that, that Jesus. We don't come out with sword and shield, Thank but we you, come Jesus. out in the name of the Thank Lord of hosts over, Net, over Lynette's life. Thank you, Jesus. And Father, we just, uh, Lord, take a take a, you, a stance against this brain tumor. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, in her brain. Thank and Lord, you, we just to take authority over it, Father. Yes, we command it to, so Lord, we just take authority over it. We yes, command Jesus. it to shrink and to go Thank you, in Jesus. Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Father, in Jesus' Thank name, you, we Jesus. stop it. We bind it. Thank you, Jesus. We cancel its effects in Thank her body. You, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, you, we, Jesus, Lord, we speak to the mountain. We speak to the brain tumor. We command you, it to Jesus. go in Jesus' Thank name. You, and Jesus. we speak life. Thank Lord, to her Jesus. brain, we speak strength Thank to her you, brain. Jesus. Lord, to her body, O oh God. You, Father, we speak encouragement and yes, hope God, okay. and strength to her spirit and to her Thank mind, you, Lord. God. Lord, God, to Thank overcome, you, Lord. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, that we might, you said that Thank we might you, overcome in the evil Thank day. You, Jesus. Lord, Lord, that Thank we might you, stand and overcome in the evil day, God. And we claim that over Lynette's life, God, yes. that she might stand yes. and yes. overcome yes. in this evil yes. day, God, where she's battling this, God. We claim 
same. Lord, Thank breakthrough you, and healing you, in her brain and in her body, in the name of Jesus, Thank in her you, mind. Lord God, and we just claim full recovery in Thank Jesus' you, name. Jesus. We plead you, the Jesus. blood of Jesus. Yes. We pray, God, that you would do what no man can do. Amen. Lord God, and even if the doctors, Lord, Amen. are used, God, to, to facilitate and bring this about. Amen. Lord, so be Amen. it, God. We just claim Amen. your recovery, Amen. Lord, for, for Lynette in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Lord, bless her, help her, God. Yes, Jesus. Lord, God, bring, Father, help from the body of Christ and others yes. round about her. God, yes, strengthen God. them, God. Strengthen yes, their family. Lord, help their family, God. Lord, yes, God, let turn God. what the enemy meant for bad, turn it for good. Yes, let this Lord. be a turning point for heaven yes. in their life, oh God. Let this yes. be a turning point even for the kids and the family to see Thank Jesus, you, Jesus. Oh God. Open the eyes, Thank open you, the hearts, Jesus. oh God. Remove the, Lord, Thank the you, barriers Jesus. and the blinders and the veil, Father, to see, Jesus. Lord, your presence Thank and your you, help Jesus. in their life in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I, I just want to echo what you said uh, a few moments ago. Continue to pray. You know, these prayer requests, uh, continue in your time at home to pray and to, and, and to pray for this uh, Lynette. Yeah. All Amen. these, all these Amen. prayer requests. You know, uh, sometimes God will pick out uh, a certain prayer request or a certain name, and He's given it to you to pray for. And so you just believe and just continue to pray to be that intercessor for that person. God's always looking for intercessors, and so we pray. We work together with God, like Amen. He said. Amen. And Lord God, for Darlene, Lord God, to be able to quit smoking. Hallelujah. Well, I know God is able to work that out in our lives. I know that because yeah. I'm one that uh, I ask God to help me quit smoking. And I just pray right now, Lord God, that you would direct Darlene. Lord God, that you would order her steps right now, each moment of the day. And Lord God, that you would increase that desire within oh, her, Lord hallelujah. God, to put that cigarette down, Lord God, and not to smoke it. That you would give her more time in between cigarettes, oh God. That she would live, Lord God, and put her faith and her trust in you right now. I just cancel out any any uh, uh, wrong attitudes right now in the name of Jesus. Uh, Lord God, any schemes of the devil that would keep that thing ah. in her life. I just cancel it in the name of Jesus. I ask you, God, to work mightily within yeah. her, Lord God, to, to, to build that faith up. It's not her faith. It's not just her faith. But God, if she's a Christian, if she's born again, I pray, God, that she's born again. Jesus. But if she is born again, God, it's your faith in her that's doing Jesus. this. And so we just thank Jesus. you, Lord God, for healing her, Jesus. for delivering her from nicotine in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Lord God, that you would cancel out any wrong attitudes, any wrong thoughts that come against her, Lord God, Lord that Jesus. say she can't do it, but she can, and she does it in your strength and in, your, and in faith in you, Lord God. Continue that desire yes. to, to, to put it down, Lord God. That's from you, God. That is from you. If she has a desire, that's from you to put it down. And so, Lord God, I ask that you reveal that to her. And God, give her the strength to continue with that. Also, she's asking to have a relationship healed with her boyfriend. Well, God, you're, you're the master of right relationships. And I just pray, God, Lord God, whatever the situation is there, Lord God, that your will be done. I pray that in the name of Jesus. Yes, I pray that for Darlene. I pray yes, that, uh, you know, you can't be right with yes, anybody Lord. unless we're right with you. And I just yes, pray, Lord. God, in the name of Jesus, that for Darlene and her boyfriend, I pray, God, that uh, the relationship with you yes, would Lord. be right. Lord God, and if we yes, if we love the Lord our God, then we'll be able to love others the way we're supposed Jesus. to. And so, Lord God, I ask God for that to be uh, turn their hearts towards you. That's where their hearts need to be towards you. And we thank you in yes, the name Lord. of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Thank Hallelujah. you, Jesus. Thank Amen. you, Jesus. I have a request here to pray for everyone to vote and pray Amen. for the body of Christ to vote. There are so many within the church that did not vote last time. 
uh, had its negative effects, even though I believe the election was stolen. And I believe that there was a lot of uh, malfeasance that went on within the electoral stuff and all that and all the manipulation and everything. But, I, but, you know, we need to do all that we know to do and then believe God, you know. So, uh, Lord, I just pray for the body of Christ and pray for people to go out and vote as we come up to the approach to the election and that they would pray that they would vote prayerfully, that they would be informed, Lord, that they would be a, an informed citizenry, God, that they would, uh, and they would pray and obey, and Lord, that we'd be involved, Lord, to, to bring about righteous leadership within Amen. our land. Lord, that we are involved in calling forth and seeing righteousness raised up within our lands and also seeing those who have been abusive of the leadership to be removed Amen. and to be removed from their place of influence Amen. and authority within Amen. our states and within our counties and Amen. within the positions of authority Thank within you, our lands. That you, if the Jesus. church would pray, a lot of stuff would happen. Amen. If, if the church and the body of Christ, if two would pray, Amen. he says, if two of, if two of you agree yes. that touching anything, it shall be done of our Father which is yes. in heaven. If you'll join together with we others agree. in the church, if you'll join yes. together with the church and not give up, and you begin to believe God and pray and pray for truth to be revealed. You, There's so much that is being exposed and revealed right now. Thank God. Even though we see all this corruption, don't let it get into your spirit. Amen. Don't let it get into your mind. Don't get Amen. consumed by it. Amen. Stay consumed by God. Yes. Stay filled up with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Stay filled up with the Word of God. Thank be you. filled up with the truth. Yes. Be carriers of the truth. The Bible says it's those who did not love the truth who were given a spirit of delusion in this yes, hour. Yes. So you know what? You need to be lovers of Amen. the truth. And Jesus said, my word is truth. So you need to love the word of God. You need to love Jesus. You need to love the truth and stay in love with him. Amen. And then pray and stand for his will to be done Amen. and his kingdom to come where you live, right where you live Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen? Amen. So hallelujah. Mike, Amen. God bless you. Amen. Good to have you with Amen. us uh, today. Praise God. Love praying with you. Thank you, Let's brother. Let's do it again Amen. sometime soon. Amen. Amen. Thanks Amen. for joining us today. Amen. We pray that you will get established with a house of prayer. You yes. and God are a majority. You can yes. get something done in God. Yes. God bless you. Have a wonderful week. Talk to you next week. Amen. Amen.